Hello, boys and girls, and welcome back for another reading lesson with Miss Kim. Um, so in our last lesson, we read a book called A Bear Cub Grows Up. And we learned how a bear cub grows up. And so we learned the definition of a cub, which means baby bear. And we learned um, um, all the things that bear cubs like to do, like to eat. Um, and so this is a nonfiction book. It's an informational text to learn more information on a certain topic. And so it's based on facts, what's true. Okay, and now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be reading another story, another book, but this time we're reading a fiction book, which is a make-believe. Um, it's not true. Um, so um, we're going to be reading this book called A Bear Snores On. Bear Snores On, okay. Now, good readers, what they do is before they read a book, they look at the title and they look at the picture to make a prediction what the story um, will be about or what might happen in the story. And so let's read the title, Bear Snores On. Okay, so my immediate thought is, what does snore mean, okay? Now, I can look at the picture and I see and I notice that the bears, the bear's eyes are shut, they're closed, and he's resting on his paws, and all of the other animals are looking at the bear. So I wonder why the bear is sleeping. Now, yesterday in our um, last lesson, in, our, in the book, A Bear Cub Grows, we learned about hibernation. We learned that bears hibernate. They like to sleep, and they like to, um, they, they like to sleep during the winter, they don't eat or drink, and they just sleep during the winter. So I'm wondering if this story will be about um, bears hibernating. And so um, let's see if what I predict my, uh, what I, if my prediction comes true, maybe you have a prediction. How do you think these other animals will play into the story. What, what would their role be in this story and what will happen, okay? So we're gonna read this together. Bear snores on. In a cave in the woods, in his deep, dark lair, through the long, cold winter, sleeps a great brown bear. Cuddled in a heap with his eyes shut tight, he sleeps through the day, he sleeps through the night. The cold winds howl, and the night sounds growl. But the bear snores on. An itty bitty mouse, pitter pat toe, creep crawls in the cave from the fluff cold snow. Okay, so um, in the story we see that the bear is sleeping during the cold winter, in the middle of the winter. So we know, so Miss, Pr Miss Kim's prediction was correct. It, it is a story about a uh, bear hibernating during the winter. Um, now next I want us to um, think about what the setting of the story is and who are the characters in the story, okay? So we have our first character, which is this little mouse, okay? 
Mouse squeaks. Too damp, too dank, too dark. So he lights wee twigs with a small hot spark. The coals pit pop and the wind doesn't stop. But the bear snores on. Two glowing eyes sneak peek in the den. Mouse cries, who's there? And a hare hops in. Oh, mouse, says hare, long time no see. So they pop white corn and they brew black tea. Mouse sips wee slurps. Hare burps big burps. But the bear snores on. A badger scuttles by, sniff snuffs at the air. I smell yum yums, perhaps we can share. I've brought honey nuts, badger says with a grin. Let's divvy them up, cozy down and dig in. And they nibble and they munch with a chew, chomp. But the bear snores on. Okay, so far, who are the characters in the story? We have, of course, the bear. Then we have mouse, hare, and the badger. And so what's the problem in the story? So the problem in the story is that all the animals are making these noises, they're coming into the cave, but what's happening? The bear is still snoring, the bear is still sleeping, okay? So in every story there's a problem and at the end of the story there's a solution. So what do you think the solution will be, okay? And um, so we know the characters and also what is the setting? Where is the story taking taking place? The story is taking place in the bear's home in the bear's cave. Um, when is the story taking place? It's in during the middle of the cold winter, right? Now, let's see what other characters will be introduced in the story. So, so far we have bear, mouse, hare, and badger, okay? A gopher and a mole tunnel up through the floor. Then a wren and a raven flutter in through the door. Mole mutters, what a night. What a storm, twitters wren. And everybody clutters in the great bear's den. They tweet and they titter. They chat and they chitter. But the bear snores on. In a cave in the woods, a slumbering bear sleeps through the party in his very own lair. Okay, so I want you to make a prediction. So we know that the animals are having a party, they're eating, they're having fun, they're dancing. And the question is, do you think the bear will wake up? Okay, so I want you to make a prediction. Will bears, do bears eventually come out of their hibernation? Okay, so I want you to make that prediction. Okay, let's see what happens at the end. Hare stokes the fire. Mouse seasons stew. Then a small pepper fleck makes the bear 
Let's look at the bear's facial expression, okay? And I want you to make the expression he makes. He looks like this. He looks very angry. He, what do you think's going to happen next, okay? I wonder what he'll do with all his anger. Do you think he will yell at them? Do you think he'll tell them to leave? So I want you to make another prediction here. Let's see what happens. Bear gnarls and he snarls. Bear roars and he rumbles. Bear jumps and he stomps. Bear growls and he tumbles. You snuck in my lair and you've all had fun. But me, I was sleeping. Then I have had none. And he whimpers and he moans. He wails and he groans. And the bear blubbers on. Mouse squeaks, don't fret, don't fuss. Look, see? We can pop more corn. We can brew more tea. Bear gulps. Bear gobbles. He sighs with delight. <sighs> then he spins tall tails through the blustery night. When the sun peeks up on a crisp, clear dawn, Bear can't sleep, but his friends snore on. Okay, so what was the solution at the end of the story? The solution is that the, the bear does wake up and he wants to join in the fun, right? He felt left out. He felt like um, he didn't get to enjoy um, the party because he was sleeping. And so now he wakes up. And so what does the mouse say? The mouse says, don't worry. And so the mouse brews more tea, pops more corn. And so um, now the bear is awake and happy. Um, but it's, it's a funny ending because now all the other animals have to go to sleep now. And so now what I want us to do is when you go on Seesaw, you're going to do um, an exercise. You're going to do this activity. You're going to retell um, and write the title of the story, and then you're gonna write what happened the beginning of the story, what happened in the middle, and what happened at the end. Okay, and a great way to uh, a great way to ask yourself is in the beginning. So what happened in the very beginning? So you want to think about the characters and setting. Okay, and then think about what was happening in the first part of the story, okay? In the middle, you want to think about the problem in the story. Think about the problem, okay, in the story, okay? What is the problem, okay? So what is the problem? Okay, and then when you think about the end of the story, you want to think about think about the solution, okay? In the story, 
how was the problem solved, okay? So this would be a good way for you to know what to write in the beginning of the story, the middle and the end. So in the beginning, they always introduce the setting and the characters. And, um, and then in the middle, they usually introduce they usually, um, there's usually a, a type of problem or a conflict that happens in the story. And at the end of the story, there's a solution, okay? And then remember, the title of the story is um, Bear Snores Off. Okay? So you're gonna do this on Seesaw and then you're gonna submit it, okay? All right, so until next time, bye.